Thank you very much. Thank you very much. His Excellency, the President-elect, is going to speak to us. Thank you. Vice President-elect of the Republic, Alhaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And the incoming second lady, the dynamic Hajia Samira Baumia. The great clergy assembled here the Acting National Chairman of the NPP, Honorable Freddie Blay, my good friend, Elimbele Blay, the Chairman of the NPP Council of Elders, the veteran statesman, C.K. Tedder, the Minority Leader in Parliament, Honorable Oseche Mensa Bonsu, the Regional Chairman of NPP, Honorable Members of Parliament and Members of Parliament elect, executives and dignitaries of the MPP, members of the great Kukudu Party, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, and last, by no means the last, by no means the least, my beautiful beloved Rebecca, And my cherished daughters, Jankroma, Valerie, and Dukwea, my sister Marigold, my brother Edward, and the rest of my family. What can I say? My dear friends, but to thank the Almighty God and rejoice in his everlasting goodness and kindness to us all. My heart is full as I stand before you today, washed over by the enormity of the wonders he has wrought. And I'm, all, and I'm grateful to all the clergy assembled here who have led us in this stirring service. Let me thank all of you, the many hundreds and hundreds that have come out here today to join us, to give thanks and praise to the Lord and the many, many more around the country. Indeed, thanks to modern technology, I know there are many others around the globe who are watching and join, joining us in this most satisfying endeavor. We must thank the Almighty for our country, Ghana. On December 7, the Ghanaian people proved once again that we can and do rise to the occasion when the need arises. We came out on that day and conducted ourselves with dignity and serenity. I am grateful to all of you, the, to the millions who voted for me and the, and the many millions who voted for others on the ballot. We must thank the good law for the many unsung heroes who simply performed the task of a patriotic citizen and did not ask to be recompensed. It is the Ghanaian way. How can we ignore the poignant convergence of events 
on the evening of Friday the 9th, 2016, when our president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, was calling me to concede defeat in the best tradition of Ghanaian statesmanship, President Yaya Jame of the Gambia was renouncing the surprising concession of his defeat in elections held a week before. We are a blessed people in Ghana, and we must appreciate the goodness of the law and work ceaselessly to deserve his grace. When we began our campaign, when we set forth on this journey, when we embarked on our electoral mission, we committed ourselves and our mission to the law. We did not say the battle was ours, did we? What did we say? The battle is the law. Did we say, did we say we could win the, the election of 2016 by ourselves? No. Did we say we were Goliath, clad in intimidating protective armor? No. Did we say we had might? Did we say we had money or gold? or silver, we said the battle was the law. We agreed that we were David, small, meek, modest, and without the loud, exaggerated armor of money, except for a small, unthreatening slave. But we kept our heads up and squared our shoulders and set forth with firmness and unwavering conviction. We did not blink. And in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, he said, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens, it hastens to the end it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. And so we knew that the battle was the Lord's. Fellow Ghanaians, my personal journey to this day has been a long, long one. A journey of over four decades, working shoulder to shoulder with fellow patriots and nationalists for democracy in our beloved Ghana. Our stamina has been tested, but we kept going in the full belief that the battle was the Lord's. The going was not easy. The road has been rough. The valleys were deep and the mountains were steep. We stumbled many times along the way. Sometimes we came tantalizingly close to the, to the proverbial walls of the city. But painfully, the city gates were closed in our faces. But we never lost hope. We learned from each mistake and we soldiered on in the belief that in his own time we will get there better prepared. We took inspiration from God's word. In Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapters 27, verse 14, 
And the psalmist says, wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And so we took courage and worked in the full knowledge that the battle was the Lord's. Some of our most loyal companions have not made it to this most famous and emphatic victory. It is sad that Al Haji Ali Muhammad, who so distinguished himself, in the office of Vice President of the Republic could not witness this day. It is heartbreaking that Otanko Betabilamte, my childhood friend, is not here by my side today to savor the moment. It is difficult to accept that Adams Mahama, the dynamic chairman of our party, in the Upper East region is not here with us. It is tragic, my cousin and political neighbor, J.B. Dankwa Edu, is not here with us. <coughs> Excuse me. It is sad that the bubbly Peter Riafi Prepra is not here. It is painful that young, bright, hard-working and cheerful Kwame Bwadu is not here with us and that Abubakar Sadiq should miss this occasion. We remember them and many others and acknowledge the role they play to bring us this far. I am expressing here today my profound gratitude to successive generations of this great elephant family who have stood for freedom and justice all through our country's history, sometimes at great personal cost, and who have resisted all attempts to dismember and divide their ranks. Their fortitude, their resilience, their sense of purpose, are a great credit to our nation. It is that spirit of sacrifice and service that inspired all the members of the campaign team, led by the tireless, able Peter McMenu, the campaign strategist, the campaign manager, the campaign strategist Dan Butry, the campaign administrator Edward Watting, and Joe Anotti, the technical director, who planned and gave us this great victory. I am forever in their debt. As I am in the debt of those who went on the grueling campaign with me around the country, particularly Alan Shermateng and Otiko Afisa Jabba. I cannot leave out Diana Asamoa, Ejako, Lucky Mensa, Praia Tinting, Praia Chetia, and all the other great stars who left their comfort zones and came on the rugged terrain of party politics and made such a great contribution to our victory. Many thanks also to the media, many of whom made a determined effort to take our message to the Ghanaian people. They are part of this positive history. It is always invidious to single out individuals on such an occasion, especially when there were so many who helped in diverse ways. But I hope everyone will understand if I single out the young man who I know is going to write a brilliant chapter 
in the economic history of our country and whom God has given to me as my vice, Muhammadu Baumia, who made who made an inestimable contribution to the success of our effort. I look forward eagerly to working with him for the progress of our beloved Ghana. The contribution of our respective wives deserves a book of its own. For the time being, let me just say merely, say thanks. Thanks, Samira. Thanks, Rebecca.